What are ghosts? I think it's important that if we're Christians, that we gather our theology, we gather our teaching from the Bible and not from programs like Bewitched or Ghostbusters or some other television show. And the scripture that we're holding up in this particular message is from Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 and it tells us that man is destined to die once and after that to face judgment. And so it becomes quite clear from the scripture, not just this verse, but from the teaching of the scripture, that we die and that's it. We don't come back. So when people say that they've seen Auntie Doris or Uncle Fred come back to be with them, to comfort them, appear to them or whatever, we can say categorically from the scripture that it's not Auntie Doris or Uncle Fred. I think we have to bear in mind that there is a spirit world, there is a dark, sinister spirit world out there and that these uh, spirits are able to communicate in this sense, think of seances and uh, mediums, communicate in this sense so that they pass on, as it were, information that that person thinks it must be Uncle Fred because only Uncle Fred knew that about me. Therefore, the ghost that I see must be him. But we have to bear in mind that this dark, sinister spirit world that the Bible calls evil spirits is able to communicate in this particular way with the bottom line being that people are deceived. That's the intention of the whole of this issue of ghosts and spirits and all of that stuff that goes with it, the intention is to deceive from the truth of God's word. And so when we talk about ghosts and we talk about hauntings or whatever, we can say very clearly from the scripture that these sightings are not the people that we think they are. Although I do uh, think in many ways that the human mind has to be brought into this and the mind can play tricks on us particularly at night and particularly when uh, we've been told perhaps that a, a particular area or a particular house is haunted. I'm a very keen angler and I use this to illustrate the point. I'm a very keen angler and a lot of my fishing is done at night over the years I have done thousands of hours of night fishing and I go to places that are very remote, I go to places that become very dark, places where the trees blow in the wind and create all sorts of images but I go to those places, I set my fishing up, get myself there for the night, get tucked in and focus on the fishing. doesn't bother me at all. I don't get spooked, I'm more concerned about rats that are running around at night than I am about anything to do with the paranormal. But I can remember many years back when I first started to night fish seriously and you're out there at the water's edge and every single rustle in the bushes, every single noise you pick up because you're so acute in, in, in the terms of your senses um, during the night and you pick up all those things and your mind starts to play tricks on you but of course over the years being there in that situation so many times it's, it's not even a, a problem at all now but I believe that there are many people who are in those situations whereby particularly at night someone has told them that that lake is haunted that house is haunted and so being in the situation at night in the daytime or if they weren't aware of these things if they hadn't become switched on to the prompting that this is a, a haunted place or that this is a place where ghosts are they wouldn't really take any notice at all of that noise of something that they think is unusual but because they've been primed albeit subliminally in many cases, people start to think 
in terms of ghosts. So I believe that a lot of sightings, a lot of reports, is nothing more than the mind playing tricks on us. But in the instances where something very clearly has happened, then it's not, as we said, Uncle Fred or Auntie Doris or some other person that once lived on this earth. Reincarnation is not a biblical doctrine. Coming back as a ghost is not biblical truth. These sightings, these communications, these lines of communication are evil spirits and the Bible teaches that there is a dark spiritual world around us and that we shouldn't be frightened of it because we're Christians, because we're on the winning side. God is on our side and God is stronger and more powerful than this world that exists out there but we need to be aware of it and we certainly don't need to be embracing it and thinking that people are communicating with us through this spirit world because they aren't. So ghosts, a lot of it I believe is just down to the mind playing tricks on us. It's down to that subliminal suggestion that this particular place is haunted and all of that, all of those things come together and people believe that they see ghosts, people believe that there's a, a presence, people believe they feel something. Again, all very uh, subjective, of course. But in those instances where things uh, really do happen, where there are lines of communication, as it were, apparently with those that have passed on, then that uh, is not those people, but that is this spirit world that we talk about and the Bible refers to in many, many places.